Kills 1019. It's uh, the best day of the week. And, you know, I feel like Leslie from the Humane Society read my mind. I was saying that I would love to see some little rodent friends for Find a Friend Friday today. And, Les, that's exactly what you brought. I sure did. Two. Not even one, mm-hmm. but two. Tell us about these adorable little pair, or this adorable pair of gerbils. So, they are the bestest of friends. <laughs> and appropriately named, they are Lucy and Ethel. Oh. Um, they are super sweet, super, super just adorable and soft. In fact, we're both holding them in our hands uh-huh. and they're just they're calm. You do you do have to kind of know how to handle tiny little rodents like this that tend to want to burrow and aren't super socialized with people. So right. It's really important that you know the breed, or the species rather, and that you know how to approach them. Uh, Lucy is six months old, and oh. Ethel is two months old. So oh my goodness. They're not siblings. They're just babies. So, yeah, they're just best friends. But, um, <laughs> but the cool thing about gerbils is they are desert dwellers, and uh-huh. so they don't produce a lot of urine, which means that they're incredibly clean, and uh-huh. they, you don't get a really stinky cage. That being said, they do need to be cleaned regularly. Um, it's important to have all of the needs that they would have in the wild in their cage, which is somewhere to burrow, usually like a little plastic igloo that allows them to, you know, <laughs> hibernate when so they want cute. to. And um, they love to play. They love to have a companion. So this is the ideal pair here. Uh-huh. So they're really sweet. They're pretty low maintenance. Um, if you want to get them for kids, it's just important that the kids understand that they are fairly independent and they aren't super interested in being held cuddled, held such things yeah. like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. And they're not toys. They right. are li- little living creatures. So yeah, as long as you're responsible with that, they're great little pets, but they do teach, you know, care for, for kids. Exactly. It's kind of an easy animal to take yeah, care of. Yeah, it'd probably be better to have children over, you know, maybe eight or nine to, okay. to really have the understanding. And awesome. And well, um, we're putting up pictures, of course, because they're just too adorable yeah. not to see. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can check them out. And then, uh, just keep in mind, please, that there aren't just cats and dogs at the Humane Society of Utah. There are all different types of rodents. There are rabbits, mm-hmm. uh, chinchillas I've seen in there. Mm-hmm. We have guinea um, pigs Guinea right pigs. Too. Yeah. Hamsters and, of course, these gerbils. Yeah. So go check them out, please. Always consider adopting before shopping. Thank you so much, Leslie, sure. Lucy, and Ethel for coming in. More music on the way on Alt 1019. This is Alt 1019.